So now we'll go for the lab three, the client installation methods. For installing the client installations, first of all, we can do one thing. We have to add the clients or the systems to add to directory domain. So this is my system is what SSCM server now. And I have the one more system now. So this is my 2008 system. And this system I want to configure as a client system now. So to configure the client computer now. The step one, we have to configure the IP address. See the server IP address or the domain IP address, add to the domain IP address is a 192.168.5.1 is there. And the domain name is guidegroup.com. So I'll configure this system IP address as the second system. So just to go to properties. TC IP version 4. dot server has the 5.1 I am providing as a 5.2 we don't require any gateway I am configuring the preferred DNS as server IP address as a 5.1 it is ok close in the next step add to domain right click on the computer and go to properties so this is the system name i configured as a client one and presently it is in the work group and go to change settings so click on change so select domain so the domain name i'm configuring as a guy3 group.com so click OK. So type the username and password. Domain administrator name. So administrator and the password. So click on OK. Click OK. Click OK. And we have to restart the computer now. So restart now. If you go for a SSCM server, which is your domain controller, if you go for add to directory users and computers, now in the computers, the computers are the but a client computers. So we got the one client, client one is there. Now this your add to directory this information is applying to your SSCM server. If you go for SSCM console manager, so if you go for SSCM compliance, right now we have only one system is available. So just go for update membership. So click on S. So it takes a little bit time. So now the client is added. So switch user and I'm logging as a administrator. Like in the real time in the production environment, they're logging as their username.
so now there are two systems are available one is the my server and this is your SSM server and the client one if you go for client one there is start option is available but the resource explorer if open you want to find out any hardware is not able to display anything here because the reason so we have to install the client software so we got like a client we got like a no is available so up to now we have seen adding the client computers to the system uh, systems to the active directory domain the next part will go for installing the client software manually.